Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick little bit of positive information. I know yesterday's video was a little bit doom and gloom, so we got a really nice piece of news today. And before I get started, before you get started, uh, I gotta tell you, there is a mild buzzing noise throughout this entire video and it's driving me insane, but I'm deep into editing right now. Take it or leave it for this video. There's just a mild buzzing. You'll only be able to hear it a couple of times, but it's an enjoyable video other than that. Take it away, Simon. I just got a really fun order in the mail of domain pin badges. Look at those. Billy the Grunt stickers. So cute. And this lovely print. Now, I'm actually going to be selling these eventually, like as a set of three that I can just post to you. I don't really know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to do a giveaway today because I just got these in the mail. They look dope. I'm also sending them out with every order of things people purchased recently. And I do want to say today we hit our check mark, our, our milestone. We raised enough money from the Halo Mega sales we've been doing over the last month to buy a brand new Fujifilm camera. So the quality on this channel is about to right up to the moon. So I'm really excited to uh, have you all see like how much the content is going to explode come July. Up until that point, I'm going to be doing uh, basically clearing through my inventory. I have tons of old videos still to clear through. My Patreon has been suggesting a lot of different video topics that I release because I literally have a list of about 60 videos. My aim is by mid-July, when some really exciting things are going to be happening, by mid-July I'm going to have cleared through every one of my videos. If I've not released the video, I'm deleting the project and I'm starting again fresh this summer with a new rebrand, a new revamp to all my social medias, and uh, a really cool new approach including you know filming with a 8k video camera and a lot of cool accessories like proper light rigs and lapel microphones and the list goes on but we raised enough money through the sales recently to buy all that equipment and uh, I wanted to uh, you know I ordered all these so they could go with all the sales of my items and uh, I'll give one uh, I'll give a couple of these away all you need to do to be entered to win this is like the video and subscribe and then comment down below with your favorite mega constructs release of the past few years okay so we got a little bit of information not too much today uh, mega basically dropped a brand new image this is from Kevin MCX on the squad 45 discord and he has prototype images Images of the cinder shot and the heat wave they're two new weapons that are coming to mega later next year or early next year april next year with the new mega fan vote halo multiplayer mayhem this was a fan vote that we voted for all throughout the month of goodness it must have been march at this point wow time flies and we voted on four different rounds the fourth round was what weapon we wanted in the set and it was a draw so the absolute chads at mega decided to produce both the cinder shot and the heat cinder shot the cinder shot and the heat wave and there's three spartans demonstrating them and they look really good. Like, they, they genuinely look so good. The Cinder Shot, I love the handle that you can hold on to. Of course, we've kind of seen this image before in the original mock-up of this set, but it's still great to see them actually in a designer's hands. Like, they're gonna ship this April. And the Halo Multiplayer Mayhem set was a limited two-week pre-order window, but it has been extended, I think, indefinitely, and you can pick it up right now on MattelCreations.com. I'll leave a link down below. The Heat Wave and the Cinder Shot look great. Then, uh, uh, Mega also confirmed that we're getting a new adapted uh, end barrel to our battle rifle next year so it can fit the muzzle flare, which is a great touch. I'm at the point now we need Covenant and Banished Muzzle Flares. Like, we need them. We need them. I, I don't know exactly how they'd adapt to so many different weapons. Like, it's a bit more difficult because there's so many. But at least, like, an adaptive piece for the plasma rifle and... I don't know, pulse carbine, I, just, I mean, anything really. It, it's a bit more difficult, granted, but we need muzzle flares, and uh, we need muzzle flares included in every set. Like, they're so cheap to produce, they should be in every set. And then the blind bag series this year, there are so many new weapons, and they're also being used in Halo Heroes a little bit. We've got the adapted sidekick pistol, it's a little bit larger. The scrap cannon, which we also saw in the mongoose outriders earlier this year and the pulse carbine also saw in mongoose outriders and kevin also confirmed that the anubis coating on that mongoose outrider set is the scorpion punch it's a little bit more of a game accurate scorpion punch because the other one was a prototype version and it looks great and then we've also got confirmed that we are getting a new adapted plasma rifle later next year because the plasma rifle 
uh, is, is a bit fat. I never actually considered it, but more, now people have been commenting about it. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a fat plasma rifle. Uh, yeah, it's just, just a, a few little bits of information, just to sprinkle them in there to brighten up your day. And yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, me hitting my milestone and being able to afford this new camera. That is incredible. And uh, a lot of things uh, are going to be happening really soon. Um, I can't talk about anything right now, but July is looking good. It's looking really good. It's best case scenario kind of good. Uh, so I can't wait to share more details with you guys soon. Uh, the future is looking very bright for the domain and uh, so many other things in my life. So a uh, big shout out to anyone that supports me up until this point and supports my new channel, Simon Says. I really do appreciate that at Simon Says Hello on YouTube. Uh, yeah. It's a good year. It's only going to get better. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, let me know what your favorite MCX release for the past few years is. We got a lot of uh, new molds coming. I mean, that's also, you know, we got the Stormfall and the Firefall helmets and the cat ears. Even though, you know, you love to hate them, but I, I really do like them. And the new piece on the Warthog turret. You know, we got a lot of new molding. And I've always said the, the best way forward is uh, a really large... Um, molding budget and I uh, talking about molding I wanted to give one more update really quick um, our friend over on Instagram ls 3d printing you know uh, I, we've showcased his work on my channel before ls 3d has just produced a set of MCX compatible armor that is magnetized and he can magnetize really strongly quite clearly it's very strong and he can magnetize pieces onto the side and the back of his spartans and it looks insane i watched the video a few times i was mesmerized the world of 3d printing is definitely evolving and i'm all here for it so that's my little mega update for today a little unedited a little spur of the moment but i wanted to make sure i got something out today i've been so busy parceling stuff up all day that it's uh, it's been an intense one but yeah thanks for your support and your continued support into the future come july we're gonna see some big things domain signing off